Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to show you how to use, in my opinion, the best chainsaw sharpener for homeowners. This takes all of the complication out of it. You're gonna wanna match up your chain size to the actual sharpener. Mine's a 0.325. You'll find what your chain size is on the bar that comes with your saw. This is an MS250 and it just came with the 0.325 chain on it. Now that you're ready to sharpen your saw, the best way to do it, in my opinion, is just go ahead and put it into a bench vise if you have one available. This will hold the saw really stable. You're gonna wanna clamp down on the bar itself. Don't clamp it down too tight because you don't wanna damage the bar, just enough to where the saw won't move around on you. Depending on how your bench is set up, you're probably going to want to have something to put under the base of the saw. That way your bar is not at an angle. You want this to be parallel with the floor. There are a ton of teeth on this chain. What you're going to want to do is mark the very first one that you're going to actually sharpen. That way, whenever you come back around to it, you're not resharpening teeth that you've already sharpened before. I just use a Sharpie and put it right on the tooth itself. Now we're ready to sharpen. You'll see that this has a specific direction that it needs to go. The angle that you'll actually put this at is the angle where the plastic is gonna be parallel with the bar itself. So it's like you're gonna be either pulling back towards you at an angle or pushing away from you at an angle. The benefit of this sharpener is that it sharpens the tooth and lowers the rake at the same time. This is gonna give you the best cutting that you can get. A lot of people will wind up just sharpening the tooth and forget about the rake and the performance of the chain just isn't the same. What I do is I do about three passes going the direction of the arrow and then I repeat that for each one. I never sharpen going the other direction. Let up a little bit of tension whenever you're going back the opposite direction of the arrow. That way you're not sharpening in two directions. Now you're gonna sharpen every other tooth. That way you're sharpening the same direction all the way around the chain. Here in just a second, you'll see where I flip the sharpener over and I sharpen the other direction. Now that I'm all the way back around, I'm ready to go ahead and sharpen the other direction. Just flip this over and go the opposite way. It's that easy. All right, now you're fully sharpened. As you can see, there's little bars on here to keep this guided correctly. So it's really something that you can't really mess up all that badly. Just don't over grind the tooth. Just make sure you do about three passes. It's got an ability to replace all the pieces inside of it, which is really nice. You don't have to buy a whole brand new one. You can buy individual files that go inside there. And anytime you need them, you just pop a new one in. Pretty nice. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget, subscribe, like, leave me a comment. Get out and have some fun. We'll see you guys later.